Hey everybody, this is Dave from AskUncleDave.com. Today I'm going to show you how to get all of these great apps uh, right on your Apple TV without a developer's account, without having to use Xcode and uh, uh, signing tools and all that stuff. You basically register with this site here. This is called iPawnStore.me and you register your UDID. I'm going to show you how to get that. We're going to put it right into here and we're going to pay $9.99. It's per year, per device, but it's well worth it. There's no hassle. Uh, basically, once you sign into your account on the website, you can just click and download uh, all the apps that they have available with more coming in the near future. You use iFunbox. iFunbox is an app that you put on your Mac. Uh, there's a Windows version as well. And you can uh, use that app to throw it over to your Apple TV, regardless if it's on tvOS 9.1 or 9.2 or any future releases for now. Uh, so what we're going to do is we'll download iFunbox uh, and we're going to register here. Now, when you register here, they take PayPal and they also take uh, credit cards. You can go to CVS, get yourself a $10 Visa card. Uh, that doesn't have any of your information you scratch off the back you put in that number for payment and this way you don't give out all of your information to anyone over the internet you use that card uh, all you have to do is give them an email address and your name and they'll send you emails and you follow up and we're gonna go through all the steps now uh, it's great you don't have to use anything like Xcode I love that and uh, it's gonna make it so much easier for all of us to get all of these great uh, apps that are not available in the App Store because in the App Store there are some great apps but they're slim pickings. Uh, these apps are great for uh, you know watching uh, paid TV and things like that. So let's get into it now. Let's get started. Now before we get started, this service is only for the Apple TV 4. You have to have an Apple TV 4. In the back of the Apple TV 4 they have a USB type C and that's this wire here this is a USB type C to regular USB 3.0 so you connect one end into your Apple TV and the other end into your PC or Mac if you have a newer MacBook Pro you use the USB type C to USB type C connect it in and what you're gonna see on your iTunes is you're gonna see your Apple TV connect it says serial number and then you click on here and you'll see UDID every time you click on here you have a different factor that pops up so take note of your UDID maybe put it on your notepad or maybe even a sticky pad or write it down because you're gonna need it to put it in to the website okay so the next thing you want to do is you want to go to iFunbox and you want to download iFunbox for either Windows or Mac we're gonna download it for Mac I already have it installed so I'm going to show you what it looks like. iFunbox is the way that we're going to click here and install the apps that we download from the website uh, and that are signed with uh, our UDID in mind. So we're going to install, we're going to grab that IPA that you download and it's going to go right over onto the Apple TV 4 regardless of jailbreak and all that stuff. So let's go back to that website here, and we're now going to put our UDID in. So I already copied it from my notepad, and I'm going to in, uh, insert it here. We're going to click on Yes, I'm aware of this. These are terms and conditions. You might want to read everything. That's fine. And we're going to add it to the cart. So then we get into our cart here, and we're going to see that we have the uh, iPawn store uh, co-signing but for tvOS for Apple TV 4 only and our UDID shows up and we're all set now so then we'll proceed to check out now all you have to do is put in your first name last name and an email address that they're gonna send you uh, your registration information as well as the second email that you get to sign into your account I'm gonna use PayPal so I'm gonna put my first name and my last name my email address and I'm going to proceed. I'm, I'm going to click here and I'm going to proceed to PayPal. So I'm logging into my account. So I logged into my PayPal account and I'm going to hit pay now. So they're going to send me uh, my, my login information. Okay, so I got the email from the support team and I'm going to click here 
and I'm going to register. So I'm going to register. So I'm going to put the same in, same email in that I use when I paid for this app. And then I'm going to click register. So now I have to check my email. So then I got this email. This is after I registered. And then we're going to click on the first link here. And I'm going to log in. Now for this part and the certificate, we have to go back to that email. Here it says we have to do kryptonite. Go back to the site and we're going to choose kryptonite. And hit continue. So here we have all the great apps now. And we're going to start installing them. Okay, so now that we're signed into our account, we can see that we have a whole bunch of IPAs, a bunch of apps that we can install on our Apple TV. There's a second page, but what you do is you sign and download. So you click on this, and it takes a minute, and then you'll see it pop into your downloads folder. I have my downloads folder open here. So you can see it flew right into my downloads folder. I'm gonna do the same for all of these. Uh, this is a full-fledged Cody. This is a game uh, emulator. Uh, you can play all these different types of games. And I'll have uh, links in the description for where you can get some ROMs. And then we have a live box where you activate your account with a live box activation code. Uh, you can easily get that by uh, contacting support for this website. And they'll, they'll send you one. And then you have a browser. You can browse uh, the internet right on your TV. You have Stream Central. You have Simpsons, uh, and on the last page, you have a couple of games here and your aerial uh, screensavers so that you can choose any country you want and get some HD uh, screensavers. So I'm going to go ahead and install this, and then we'll jump on to the next part with Funbox. Okay, so here are all our downloaded apps. So now simply open up iFunbox that you downloaded earlier, and we're going to hit Install App. We'll go to my downloads folder and we could start selecting them and put them on. So there it is. It's going to go right onto our Apple TV as you saw there. So we're going to hit another one now. We'll hit the second one and we'll hit open. And you're going to see it pop up onto our Apple TV here. There goes Cody. So we're going to add the next one. And you see the browser down there. Let's add the next one. There goes Ariel. And the next one pops up. And there we have Providence at the bottom. So we can now close these out. I would save all of these somewhere on your computer so that you can sideload them again if you need to. Uh, you can go ahead and update your Apple TV anytime you want and then just chuck these in, providing Apple still allows you to sideload apps. All right, so now we got all these great apps on our Apple TV 4 without having to use uh, Xcode or signing tools or anything or developer account or anything like that. So the first app up is Livebox, and you have to activate this. So if you contact uh, the uh, website they, and tell them that you need a activation code, uh, you can get one. And I'm going to make a video in detail about this app because I think it's one of the best ones that you can get. Also, we have a full fledged Cody, uh, so we can go in to Cody. And we can go in our usual way and go to File Manager and uh, install, you know, a source and this and that. And, you know, we're going to make a video about that separately uh, once again. And then you got your full browser and it pretty much jumps up with your instructions here. Uh, we'll dismiss this for now. And if you can move your mouse around. If you double tap, you can scroll up and down 
uh, double tap again and get your mouse back. And basically you can uh, click into here and you could start uh, dictating if you want using the Siri remote or you can just go ahead and type in a uh, search. But we'll do more videos about all of these apps that you get. Uh, you got your menu here so you can clear your cache and, and do all that other stuff. So then we also have uh, the Arial app and that's basically gives you the ability to change all different uh, cities uh, so that you can get whatever one that you want uh, as an aerial instead of having just your location. Uh, then you have Stream Center and Stream Center is like Twitch. Uh, it actually is Twitch and you get to uh, go in and check out all of these uh, streams from Hitbox, uh, Twitch, and then you can also load up some custom videos. Uh, then you have Simpsons and you got every single episode of the Simpsons uh, right there on your Apple TV. Uh, no need to have your computer connected or anything like that. You could just go ahead and watch any one of the seasons uh, of The Simpsons. Then you have a little game here uh, and you could use the remote and you pretty much tap and, and you could jump and it's a pretty cool game. Uh, and then you have Providence and Providence is a great app. Uh, all you do is you click import ROMs and you take that uh, HTTP address there, the URL, and put it into your computer in your browser, and basically it opens up a window uh, right to this app, and then you download ROMs, and I'll have some links in the description where you can download the zips, and then you throw them in here, and basically you have uh, an emulator for all great games that you can install on here. So for $9.99, uh, and a little bit of, uh, you know, waiting for emails and things like that and getting activation codes. You're going to have some great apps here. Uh, there's going to be more to come, I'm sure. Uh, the membership is for a whole year. So we're going to keep checking back with it and seeing what apps uh, that we can install easily right onto our Apple TV. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Thank you and have a nice day.